It's as if Tesla pulled a rabbit out of a hat. But this time, the trick involves something much more substantial than magic. Pure energy compressed into every gram of battery. In 2026, the numbers finally escaped the secret laboratories of the Gigafactory and are leaving even experienced engineers speechless. Tesla's new aluminum ion cell is reaching between $420 and $500. Just to give you an idea, that's practically triple that of traditional LFP batteries, which barely exceed $165. Such a leap isn't just technical, it's emotional. It's the kind of number that makes even the most skeptical driver start to look fondly at an EV. This density isn't just a pretty number on a spec sheet. It redefines what's possible within the limited physical space of a car. Instead of cluttering the vehicle's floor with a gigantic energy pack to try and achieve decent range, Tesla managed to pack 700 count of real-world range into a compact space and with an impressive lightness up to 130 clouders less per pack. This reduction completely changes the driving experience. A lighter car accelerates faster, brakes better, corners with more confidence, and consumes less energy per kilometer. But there's more. This weight reduction doesn't require any sacrifices in the car's design or structure. On the contrary, it frees up space and flexibility to create more compact, aerodynamic, and safer designs. And when it comes to safety, less mass in the package means less inertia in the event of a collision. In times where every millimeter and gram counts, this achievement is much more than a specification sheet. It's a game changer for automotive engineering. Now, think about the direct impact on the average driver. That anxiety of watching the battery bar dropping on the road disappears. The 700 kilometer range with a lighter and more efficient pack, makes the driver forget about charging stations for days. And the best part, without needing to carry a truck battery to achieve this, everything is more streamlined, efficient, and practical. It's like carrying the range of a tank of fuel in your pocket, only in electric form. Energy density also corrects an old problem. Inconsistent performance in extreme temperatures. Conventional batteries suffer in both cold and heat. But with less mass and more efficiency per cell, Tesla's new system tends to have less thermal loss and more stable control of the internal temperature. This translates into less range loss in winter and more confidence on long trips, regardless of the weather. Another interesting point is that, by increasing the density so much, Tesla avoids having to modify the chassis or juggle interior space. It's possible to maintain a compact design and still easily exceed 600 kilometers. This means that the future of electric mobility will no longer depend on giant SUVs to deliver good numbers. Even an urban hatchback can become a long-distance machine with this new chemistry. It's also inevitable to consider the psychological effect of this technology. When we talk about 500 Audi Dalisirk, we're saying that the battery has finally ceased to be the Achilles heel of electric cars. It's as if the fear of the battery has been erased from the collective unconscious. This directly affects purchasing decisions. The average consumer may not understand ion chemistry, but they understand very well what it means to stop less, charge faster, and pay less for maintenance. And here's a personal opinion. This isn't just a battery upgrade. It's like they've unlocked a new level in EV engineering, a game changer. And the craziest part? This is just the beginning of the revolution. Because if the leap in density already changes everything, imagine what happens when this chemistry starts to directly influence charging time, durability, and most importantly, the final cost to the consumer. And that's precisely where things start to get even more insane. If the first shock came with the density, the second reckoning happens in the charging process. That old agonizing wait at charging stations, with the driver looking at their cell phone, the ceiling, and the time that seems to stand still, may be numbered. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery promises to sustain up to 300 kilo of charging power without breaking a sweat. This means that in just 10 minutes, it's possible to charge for between 350 
and 400 km of real-world range. It's almost like refueling with gasoline, but without the smell, the noise, and the cues. But it doesn't stop there. Fast charging has always been a dilemma. While it solves the time anxiety, it also accelerates battery aging. But with this new chemistry, that changes completely. We're talking about between 8,000 and 10,000 complete cycles before any significant sign of degradation. In practice, this means more than 20 years of daily use, or up to 1 million kilometers, driven without any real loss of performance. That's more than the car itself can handle in terms of chassis and engine. This resistance to degradation solves an invisible pain point that many EV owners don't even notice at first but which haunts them over time. That feeling that battery life is decreasing faster than normal after a few years, especially in regions with extreme climates or for people who frequently use fast charging. Now, imagine being able to fast charge any time without fear of slowly draining the battery. It's like regaining freedom without any hidden clauses in the contract. The secret lies in the cell's internal structure. Aluminum, besides being more abundant, has an incredibly efficient internal conductivity. This reduces excessive heating, avoids dissipation bottlenecks, and allows fast charging to be handled naturally as part of the battery's normal flow. There's no need to limit the car to 120 or 150 kilos, as with LFP batteries. With this new generation, even an entry-level model can deliver a premium experience without breaking the budget. For frequent travelers, this is almost a miracle. The possibility of stopping for 10 minutes, grabbing a coffee, and getting back on the road with over 350 kilometers on the odometer completely changes the experience with an electric car. The trip ceases to be an exercise in meticulous planning and becomes something more spontaneous, as we are used to with combustion engine vehicles. And this, let's face it, has always been the Achilles heel of EVs. It's also worth remembering that charging time affects urban use. Those who live in apartments or depend on public chargers will feel the difference even more intensely. If before it was necessary to leave the car parked for an hour, now a 10-minute pit stop is enough. The routine changes, the anxiety disappears, and even owners of gasoline-powered cars are starting to wonder how this is possible. And to top it all off, this incredible durability even changes the economics behind the purchase. When a battery lasts 20 years with high performance, the resale value of the car also increases. It ceases to be disposable. It stops carrying that stigma of technology obsolete quickly. This is good for the entire ecosystem, from the consumer to the manufacturer, and even including insurance companies and rental companies. Thinking about it, perhaps this is the biggest turning point of all. Because it's not just the fast charging or the long lifespan that impresses separately. It's the whole package. It's knowing that you can have an affordable electric car that charges like a rocket and lasts like a legend. And this is only possible because aluminum is not just an alternative material. It has become the pivot of a transformation that will affect the driver's wallet, time, and confidence. And it is precisely the wallet that is beginning to feel the first effects of this new scenario. When it comes to cost, that's when things get serious. And Tesla knows this better than anyone. For years, the high cost of batteries was the biggest culprit behind the hefty prices of electric cars. But aluminum ion is changing the game with surprising boldness. By replacing lithium with aluminum, Tesla is not only revolutionizing the technology, but also dropping the cost per kW to the use $50-$60 range. That's basically half of what's spent today on LFP packs and up to a third of the most advanced nickel cells. The reason is simple, yet powerful. Aluminum is 30 times more abundant than lithium. And not only that, it's extracted from much more politically stable regions like the United States, Canada, and Australia. In other words, less risk of sanctions, crises, or logistical bottlenecks. And less risk means more stable prices. While lithium has experienced bizarre fluctuations in recent years, 
ranging from U70,000 to $15,000 per ton, aluminum has remained steady, navigating within a comfortable price range. This provides predictability, something every industry dreams of having. But the advantage isn't just in the supply chain. The manufacturing process of the aluminum cell itself requires fewer expensive steps, fewer exotic components, and less intensive chemical treatment. Ultimately, this allows Tesla to manufacture a 60 kilowatt hour pack for around $3,600 instead of the previous use $6,000. And when you multiply that by hundreds of thousands of units, the impact on the company's finances and the final price for the consumer is colossal. The direct consequence is the availability of a Tesla that can finally cost between use $23,000 and use $25,000. No gimmicks, no performance downgrades, no paltry range. A compact car with over 600 kilometers of real-world range, ultra-fast charging, and a price that fits the budget of many more families. Something that, until now, only seemed possible with sodium batteries and their inevitable performance compromises. This accessibility also removes an invisible barrier that hindered the growth of EVs in the West, the perception that electric cars were for the elite. Now, with aluminum ion technology, it's possible to deliver a car with premium performance but at an entry-level price. And not just any entry-level price, an aggressive entry-level price, directly targeting the BYD market, which reigns supreme with models like the Seagull and Dolphin priced below $25,000. And here's a strategic detail that few people realize. By adopting aluminum-based chemistry, Tesla can better localize its operations. Unlike lithium, which depends on mines in South America and refineries in China, aluminum can be mined, processed, and transformed into cells within the same continent. This reduces logistical costs, simplifies environmental compliance, and shields production from geopolitical instability. It's a movement that goes beyond the battery itself. Tesla is designing a leaner, more resilient and secure supply chain, a system that not only reduces costs but also ensures long-term predictability, something the market values more than revolutionary promises. And in that respect, it's fair to say that aluminum ion technology isn't just a technical move. It's a masterstroke of economics. Personally, it even seems like we're witnessing the birth of a new industrial standard, with aluminum emerging from the shadows and taking center stage, a role previously exclusive to lithium. And the most evident reflection of all this is that, for the first time, a cheap electric car doesn't mean a limited electric car. That's where the competitors start to sweat, because it's no longer possible to compete solely on price. Now, they need to compete on price, range, charging speed, and durability simultaneously. And that, let's face it, is asking too much for those still stuck in the chemistry of the past. And that's precisely where the competitor's nightmare begins. Because when costs fall and performance rises, Tesla's assembly line transforms into an unsustainable pressure machine for other players. With lighter and denser battery packs, the impact on production is immediate. Fewer parts, fewer processes, lower fixed costs per vehicle. Thanks to the integration of the structural battery with the system of Giga Casting, Tesla can now reduce the body of an entry-level car from 300 components to just 40. This isn't just optimization, it's a breakthrough. Fewer parts mean fewer welds, fewer screws, fewer workers, fewer robots, and less chance of error. And of course, all of this translates into less production time. A car that used to take 20 hours to roll off the line can now be assembled in 10 or even 8. And if anyone thinks this compromises safety or structure, just remember that a lighter package allows the use of common steel instead of expensive alloys, maintaining rigidity without inflating the budget. Tesla isn't just manufacturing cars. It's manufacturing scale with startup speed and Swiss watchmaker precision. This lightness also directly affects road handling. 
A pack that's 130 kilo lighter completely changes the center of gravity. The car responds better, corners more firmly, and brakes in less space. All this with more range and less wear. It's the kind of improvement that isn't written on the dealership's price tag, but that the driver notices in the first five minutes of driving. And once you feel it, it's hard to accept anything less. Now, consider what this means compared to models like the BYD Seagull and the Dolphin. These cars dominated the entry-level market with impressive figures, but today they seem outdated. The Seagull delivers 405 km range and charging is limited to 70 kW. With Tesla's aluminum ion technology, a compact car emerges, offering a real-world range of 600 km and charging in 10 minutes. It's like comparing a CRT TV to an 8K OLED. They don't even seem to be competing in the same category. And the craziest part? This advantage isn't just in the technical specifications, it extends to the entire process. The lighter structure allows Tesla to use less material in each part, which also reduces logistical costs and environmental impact. A lighter body requires less reinforcement. A denser battery requires less space. Everything fits together like pieces of a puzzle that, in the end, creates a more agile, cleaner, and more profitable factory. The ripple effect of this revolution is brutal. When weight is reduced, the suspension can be simpler. When density is increased, the engine needs to work less. When assembly is sped up, the number of units per week skyrockets. This opens up space for more models, more versions, more markets. It's a domino effect that starts in the battery cell and ends on the dealership shelves. And of course, while all this is happening, rivals are trying to catch up with technologies that are already at a disadvantage from the start. They are stuck with complex power chains, heavy structures, and batteries with low densities. They don't have the giga casting. Neither Tesla has a vertically integrated system, much less a plan to exit lithium in the short term. In other words, they're running a marathon with holes in their shoes while Tesla is wearing flying sneakers. And the most interesting thing is to realize that even with all this technological advantage, what really scares the competitors is Tesla's scalability. Because it's one thing to create a revolutionary battery in the laboratory. It's quite another to put it into mass production at competitive prices on three different continents. And that's what Tesla is about to do. And when this kind of technical and industrial dominance comes together, that's when the market feels the impact. It's difficult to imagine any brand achieving this level of efficiency without undergoing a complete reset of its structure. And that's exactly what's starting to happen now. It's not just a new battery. It's the birth of a new industrial platform that redefines what an affordable, powerful, and scalable electric car is. And as you can probably imagine, this reset goes far beyond engineering. It will redefine the entire market. At this point, aluminum ion technology can no longer be called just an innovation. It has become the reset button for the electric car industry. This is not just another step, but a radical shift where performance, price, and durability finally move in the same direction and not in conflict as they always have. For years, those who wanted an affordable electric car had to sacrifice range and those who wanted power and range had to pay a fortune. Now, for the first time, these concessions are being eliminated one by one. This reset changes everything that was believed to be immutable. Entire car manufacturers were designed around the limitations of lithium. Platforms, production lines, suppliers, contracts. Everything revolved around a chemistry that, despite being efficient, was always limited by scarcity, high cost, and geopolitical risk. The entry of aluminum as a protagonist disrupts this game because it shows that there is another way. Simpler, cheaper, more durable, and that it works better. And that's where Tesla strikes.